Yeah, I'm Jaden from Drainways Contracting. Uh, we're a local a Hooks Bay based company. Uh, been here all our lives doing civil drainage and earthworks. Uh, we do a lot of work around the bay with regards to the three waters and uh, subdivisions, council drainage, um, cover the cover the bases in that sense. Uh, there's my father and myself and three other brothers in the business along with uh, a number of employees which takes it to a total of 23. Uh, we like to have a culture of care and that that comes out in the way we do our jobs. It makes it ensures that the boys do a good job. Um, the site's always tidy. We get a lot of comments and feedback from residents as we do jobs that just um, confirms that we care. Um, the attached two hitch and bucket combination I find is very, very good. The bucket especially is a really, really good shape. The hitch is beautifully smooth. It's got a lot of power. It does what it needs to do. I like the um, the bucket detach and, a, and attach side of it. It's nice and easy. Um, obviously, the, this Volvo digger has got a two-hand safety process. You've got to actually hit two buttons at the same time. But apart from that, it comes, it goes on and off very, very easily. This is n this is near perfect. This bucket. No, it's a, it's a damn good bucket. Uh, as a bulking bucket, it fills up very, very easily uh, and also empties very, very easily. The side slopes and the angles are beautiful. It's got a really good front sharp cutting edge, which when it's new you've, and you're working around a, a, a fragile site, so to speak, maybe some road seal or something like that, you've got to be extremely careful how you work because it is so sharp. Um, but it cleans well, it digs well, it fills well, it empties well. It's, it's a really, really good bucket. Yeah, well with the heli tilt, um, I, like, I like the motor ones over against the ram ones. Uh, the ram ones tend to be a lot more bulky. They tuck up a lot more room, so when you are trenching, if you've got a narrow bucket on, um, they're going to end up scraping the sides of the trench and you're going to damage them. Whereas those there, the, the heli tilt one is, is nice and small and compact in comparison, and you've got um, you've got more space to do stuff. You've got a bigger tilt angle for a start, so you're constantly changing buckets when you're drainage when you're doing drainage, and as a result of that, a tilt bucket doesn't work because you've got to then go and hook up the hoses, which can take in a big digger it can take up to two or three minutes, which is just a wasted day. So I would prefer a motor hitch and the heli, the heli tilt seems to be doing a really, really good job. The tilt hitch allows every attachment to tilt, not just the one bucket. And it actually puts a different tilt motion. It's, it's a totally different tilt motion, which is actually a lot easier to work with than a tilt bucket. The tilt bucket rocks um, from side to side, so to speak, when you, when you tilt it, whereas a hitch actually tilts, it, it swivels. Um, there's a difference there, I haven't really studied it too much, but there's definitely a difference and a, and a tilt hitch is a lot, a lot easier to use when you're finishing than a tilt bucket is.